Catch the one car after six car. All right, well, that's an interesting start to the video. Well, we have got a 4X on the start of this. So we are here for the prototype challenge. Uh, we are going to be in the LMP3 car. Uh, this is a car which I don't really know what to call it yet. I, I really think it's so... Very. Okay, we're gonna figure out what's going on here. Catch the 14 car. People that don't know what we're doing, and the LMP3 isn't leading, leaving enough room to the leaders, um, or the faster class, but uh. Yeah, so we're going to be racing the LMP3. I think this is one of those cars that is uh, very overshadowed uh, in an update. Uh, personally, I mean, and most people are very excited about the Cadillac. The Cadillac sounds amazing. Drives awesome. Uh, but I think these are just as cool. They uh, are very well uh, balanced for what kind of car they are. They're very, very, very uh, kind of stable. The only thing that's kind of weird on them is the brakes. Um, I feel like the brakes are maybe a little bit too far back. Um, and they had that problem of where you kind of brake too hard and then the downforce peels off and all of a sudden you're locking the rears and you're spinning. But, yeah, these are, I think, a very good car for people who are just getting out of rookies. I don't know what class these are going to be when they go official, but I would like to see them in a D-class setting. These cars have a pretty, pretty bad rap from real life. And, uh, kind of what the drivers do over there. Because we're going to have too much of a run here on the leader. Car on. The next car's the leader. Clear on the right. Car right. You're on the left. Three wide. Car right. Two wide. Keep to the left. Alright, so we're going to drop down to 5th here. But these race, these are going to race really well, especially on tracks like this with these long straightaways. You're going to have these super kind of drafty races with these cars. Right side. Still there. Keep to the left. Cast off on the right. Still there, hold your line. Clear. Passed on there. Wreck up in front of us. You got a slow car on the right. You got a slow car on the right. These cars are incredibly balanced. The only thing that's kind of weird with them is being on the right-hand side, but that's just a preferential thing. I live in the U.S. But just one of those cars that I would love to sink some time into, but on the rod. I don't think I'm going to be able to. I'd love to see this in like a, uh, a series with a GT4 car. I'm going to have multi-class like that. Maybe even if they did that in real life again. Got the backwards. Cadillac. I don't know how many. I think we're down to, uh... Looks like... Oh no, they got another wrecking Cadillac up uh, two corners ahead. Yeah, overshadowed, I think, is a good word to describe it. Because I don't think overlooked, because I know people are buying it and they're trying it, is evident by how many people are signed up for this, uh, this race here. But um, I don't 
it's one of those cars that just like when the uh the formula ford came out you know we already had the v you know we have the lmp2 and i know that's a completely different car but you, know, you have a secondary prototype for people to go to Really big moment there. And we got Mr. Jason Campbell coming up behind us. Working gapping him. We're butchering the carousel. Yeah, just an overall balanced car feels like a good place to start if you're trying to figure out road. I feel like people get too caught up on like car control, like different areas of car control instead of like having people worrying about like actually where to hit their markers. We have a Cadillac coming up right behind us. Right side. Clear. I don't think there's anything wrong with kind of having an easy kind of uh, lower class car because that's where you want people to learn how to do the basics and stuff in. I feel like this is a great car for people to learn the basics in or if you're just looking for a fun car to run on these tracks like this because I can't imagine this at Daytona. This must be a blast there really can't escape anybody if you get uh, close enough on the straightaway and you have a, a close enough pace for the guys around you. You're just going to be kind of stuck in a pack. Ten minutes to go. Having that issue of overcooking these corners and putting too much pressure on the rear. And getting loose like that, and you can kind of hear that low clacking sound. It sounds like I'm hitting a limiter, but it's a trash control system doing its magic. I really need to figure out how to do that turn a little bit better. Cost me a lot of time. Cadillac and not me. The car is D1, just set the faster flat. Two minutes, three point zero nine seven. The big issue I'm having is left side of my car being a little too far left. Majority of today, kind of driving around this in the Cadillac, which the Cadillac is left-hand drive. The traffic approaching. Okay. Left side, clear. You got a slow car on the right. The one of the LMP2s. It is. We're now. Alright, so he's catching us here. If he doesn't catch us at the kink, that would be horrific. Alright. There we go, a little 
they left. Car right. Clear. Even a little bit of sniff off the guy in front of us is going to help us a little bit. New bus flat for you. Woo. You're in second position right now. Oh, yeah, we are. We hit the grass there. That was almost a big moment there. You're pulling away from the car behind. The gap is 2.1. Mr. Arthur Gordino is way quicker than us. We need a mistake to catch him, unless we can gain five seconds in five minutes. Not impossible, just a lot. I don't think I have the confidence in me right now to hit that. Confidence in the car, I should say. Some moments where I'm trying to figure out why I'm sliding the rear so much. In front. Four, five minutes to go. He's gonna be stuck. Car ahead. Get on the racetrack. Frames are a little bad right now. here just a little bit. I remember, these are unranked. I mentioned in the Cadillac video that uh, I really wish they'd have some more unranked stuff because right now I'm comfortable enough to feel like I can push. I'm not sitting here worrying about my my safety rating. A really good learning a moment for me to I'm get out here, push a little bit, and if I wreck, I wreck. I'm not gonna count for anything. We're closed in just a tiny bit on Mr. Uh, Cordino ahead of us. It's not Arthur, it's Arthur. kind of scrub speed. I don't want to be as gentle as I can try to
Faster car coming up quick. We got two GTPs that are going to catch us this lap. I think unfortunately that second one's going to catch us at not a great spot. going to catch us in the last corner here. That is not ideal. Faster traffic approaching. Left side. Clear on the left. There, so you can drag me along. The car in P1 just set the faster flat. Two minutes, three point zero one seven. Good job to um, Bordino. Doing a really good job. Hopefully, none of the Cadillacs actually take him out. I know it'd be my benefit, but that's always one of those things that sucks. experience though and we're kind of chipping away at our lap time during the race we're not making a couple of mistakes but we're not really taking ourselves out of anything yet we do have the leaders approaching and they will catch us big oh, cloud ahead of us and that is our turn so you're gaining on the car in front. The gap is 5.1. Really difficult to say without feel like you're saying it wrong. checkered flag for us as well and it does faster traffic approaching there's the flag it's over great job you did really well he uh, smashes into the wall but yeah that was a fun little Fun little race there, just trying to figure out these cars a little bit more, but they're just so balanced and, and fun, and I just, I can't stop thinking about how good of a, like, beginner car this might be for someone who maybe wants to, you know, drive those ETPs, but feels like they really need to learn, or feel like they need to kind of follow some sort of ladder system to get to the GTPs. I feel like this might be the answer to that. So, an overshadowed gem would probably be the proper, or I would say, probably just my term that I'd use for it. 
but I hope these things get a lot of attendance, because that would be cool. And hopefully this doesn't take away from something like LMP2s or some other smaller car category. Yeah. Concludes this video. We're going to be uh, streaming on occasional Monday, uh, hopefully every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, the occasional Friday, and the occasional Sunday. So if you want to check out some racing, mainly do stock car stuff, but I think I might start uh, in a little bit more road now since uh, I'm really liking that Cadillac. I may want to find something there for me there. Hope y'all have a good rest of your, uh, your day, and uh, peace.